mighty God You are awesome in this place Abba Father
When the praises goes up, your glory comes out. We live to heart. I I I When the praises goes up, your glory comes.
praise the Lord and the God of our life. Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your hand upon our lives. We thank you for your greatness. We thank you for your peace and your glory. The peace that surpasses human understanding. We give all the praise, Jesus. We glorify your name. We bless your name. Father, we thank you for the glory. We thank you for your love. We thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives, Lord. We thank you for your grace. Up. Father, you have made us to be who we are today. Father, you have made us the best. Father, to be more and conquer us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we glorify your name. We glorify your mighty 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 name. I bless you, Jesus. I glorify your name, Father. I bless your name, Jehovah. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are the only true and the only living God. You are the I am that I am, the Lord who was, the Lord who is, and the Lord who is still to come. Blessed be unto God in the highest. Baba Matsumwanga by a prophet say, Ribanea Titendo, Ribanea Tinduvo, Ribanea Zikoto, Ribanea Mehovo. Glory be unto God in the highest. By a prophet say, yes. By a prophet say, yes. Riabaro Shakriso, Yanderebo Sitarabashika, Yanderebo Sienterebeyanda, Nikayanda Raboshi Terebesai, Kienderoboshi Tarabarianda. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord. I give you all the glory, Father. Oh, yeah, Labas, Kendolosia, Manderebosia, Tarabashienda, Yanderebosita, Kerienda, Yes, Yater and Roshita, Kayanderebosia, and the Resianda, Manderebosia, Tereberienda. Ye atire kesi atoroboshika mandire bosi atarabayanda I give you the glory Jesus. I give you the praise Father I worship your name Jehovah There is no God like unto you Jesus There is no God like you Jehovah You are the only God and the only omnipresent and omniscient God The God who's always there The God who says on the prophets of his word I believe, God, I believe, I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Blessed be unto the name of the Father. Jesus, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for the praise. Mercy. Rewrote my life. Your mercy rewrote my life. Your mercy, your mercy rewrote my life. Your mercy. Your mercy, your mercy, rewrote my life. 
I give you all the glory, Father. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the name of the King. We love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I am a Sianda. I am a Bessia Terebea. And the Bossita Ramayanda. I am a Bessia Terebea. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. Blessed be unto the name of the King. Hallelujah. 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 You know, when you are still living your life according to your thinking and your ability, when you are living your life, you're thinking that you are in control of whatever situation that you are coming across some things that you are meeting along the way. Most of us, we don't know. It is because of the mercy of the Lord. That is why we are still alive today. It is because of the mercy of the Father. That is why we are still speaking the way we are speaking. That is why sometimes we even do things the way we think. That is why sometimes we don't even understand how we are doing them. Oh, we understand what you are doing. It is not because you are intelligent. It is not because you are born in home home's family. Let me tell you something. It is because of the mercy. Mara where if what you are in an asset if a deal, my pillow are in an asset I will let go watch. But because of the mercy of the Lord, that is why we are still around today. That is why we are still speaking today. That is why. We Still, we are still kicking today. Hallelujah. Most of the time I love to tell church, I say, church, when we come into the house of the Lord, forget who Ruth Forget who you come with. Your life is so precious in the eyes of the Lord. When you just rewind your tape yourself when you are alone and look at all these things that you met along the way, all these things that you met in your life, all these challenges that you came across, it is then you will find this reason. It is because of the mercy of the Lord. If it wasn't because of the mercy of the Father, some of us, we have already been told, Oh, and as better as Kasachua, You'll never come out of that sick bed that you are in in hospital. But one day, the presence of the Lord found you. And when it finds you, you were taken out of that hospital. You were made whole and made free and being healed once more. Now this is our true opportunity, Manaba Jehovah. Just to come just this minute, raise your hands and say, Papa Gia Lebon Tirile Mamuruti. Papa Gia Lebon Pulushite. Papa Gia Lebon Merecon Pilemona. Gilewa Cheleton Pilemona Jehovah. Gilewa Litola Rodima Pila. Just this moment to worship the Lord. Can you say something before the Lord? Can you say something before the Father? Thank you, the Lord, for what He has done in you. Thank the Lord for His mercy and your grace. Thank the Lord for the touching that He has placed upon your life. Father, we give you praise. Jehovah, we give you the glory. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jehovah. I give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You know, when I was still speaking these things that I was speaking, there is a Zulu song. Even though I don't know it much, but there are words in that song that touches me so, so much. It says, Wanga mumusa omangi pila jay. Uti twanga fumanga wena un lawyer. Uti twanga fumaya nga wena un bulala. Uti twanga fumanga minangi fa. Uti twanga fumanga minangi kula. Uti twanga fumanga minangi suela. Uti twanga fumanga minangi kanaman. Uti twanga fumanga minangi hapache. Uti twanga fumanga. Oh, did not allow it to happen to me. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Can we raise our hands? We shout this song. Oh God, you didn't agree. Oh Father, you didn't agree. You didn't agree, Jehovah. 
You didn't agree in your king of kings. You only be to God in the highest. We give you the praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Oh, yeah. And I let a sheet here. And the Hosianda Cayeleba, Sitereanda Cayala, Sitereando. Jesus, worship you. Uma de pilange Utico Haga fumanga E pilo God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is nice to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you greet the person that is next to you? Do me the hopefully we and tell that person welcome. To Charis Missionary Church today in the name of Jesus. And tell that person again the grace of the Lord is sufficient for us all. Hallelujah! 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 Hey! Yeah, ne? Eh! Hey, whatever modi more pulushi jardiabatu. God has saved us and made us to be people and made us to be his own. Saved us by the blood of Jesus. Redeemed us from our sins. And made us to be his righteousness. There is nothing that I'm very much serious about except the salvation that I got from Christ. Yeah. Now when we are in the house of God, let us be free, Bazalwan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See me through. Lord Jesus, see me through. See me through. Lord Jesus, see me through. There is a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. See me through, Lord. See me through. See me through.
Amen. I greet everybody that is here in the name of Jesus. I thank God for the day of Friday, Christians. When we arrived here, when I left here, I had a problem with my leg. I couldn't even walk properly. The pain was reaching my heart. I was asking God that I'm here in Charles Church, the one we see on TV, and where people are getting healed. Why is it that I am sick? I Other Christians that we were sleeping with, they encouraged me that this is the deliverance you are getting. Yesterday when we were being baptized I was even afraid to enter the water When I told my pastor that my leg is painful I won't be able to enter there He said, he said to me just enter when you come out you'll be healed when I went back to sleep, I was very healed. I thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to thank God for what he has done for me. In 2011, I tested HIV positive. The results were positive. I came here. Apostle prayed for me and he said, I don't have it. Last year, I'm not pregnant. Last year, when I was pregnant, I, I gave birth on the 8th of May. Now, the results of the child is showing that the child is HIV negative. When I was pregnant, I didn't even take treatment or anything, but the child is negative. Glory to Jesus. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I've got a testimony concerning anointing water. On Friday, my daughter was sick and I took her to the doctor. Then they took the blood test and took them to the laboratory. They said she's got an infection on her liver. Even jaundice. So, but no matter operation. They are going to operate my daughter. So, I took her to the hospital. So today, she slept there, and this morning I went there. I, I went with anointing water there I bathed her with it and I made her to drink it so then at 7 o'clock when the doctor arrived he said that there is no problem with my child they can discharge her I thank the God of Charis for saving my daughter's life Amen Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here by to testify about what God has done in my academics. Apostle prayed for me before I wrote my exams. And now I got six distinctions. I got a distinction for math. I got a distinction for mathematics, natural science, creative arts, uh -huh. life orientation, Jonah. economic and uh -huh. management science, Hallelujah. social science. Uh -huh. I'd like to thank God for Amen. that. Amen. Glory to Jesus. I greet all the saints in Jesus' name. I'm here to thank God by the miracle he has done for me before 
before the year end of 2015. February kitile mo charisi mo one on one. In February I came to Charis as a visitor to see the apostle in a one on one session. Kile kadula le mo apostola. I sat with him. I'm prophesy. He prophesied unto me. Kamu fumari oki lengli about this woman that I'm standing with here now. It was so very, very tough for me to get married. But before the end of 2015, the apostle said unto me, you'll be married. I repeat, you'll make it. He said to me, you'll make it. And I've made it. Got it 28. I'm here with my wife now. I'm here to thank God about that. Amen. I greet the saints in the lovely name of Jesus. I want to testify about the grace of God that is in this house. I came here with my wife and son. And my son had a very bad cough, a terrible cough. And as the man of God was praying for us, I gave him to one of the pastors to hold him. And when we left this place, the grace of God had touched and healed him. Because he started to vomit. And that night he slept peacefully, never coughed once. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to greet everybody in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm from Ratanda branch. I had a problem where my daughter was missing for 18 years. So, Moguza Echarisi. By coming here, now my daughter has been found is three months now. Secondly, I had, I had a debt which was 15,000. And I couldn't even afford to pay it anymore. But because of the prayers of Charis, because of Charis, the God of Charis, they called me at the shop only to find that my account was triple zero. Right then, account did not Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I've worked in a company for three years as a casual. Whereby I had a house that I bought through the bank and I was about to be the house was about to be repossessed because I was failing to pay it. I came here as a visitor to meet the apostle in a one-on-one -on -one session. Now they have so promoted I'm, me at work and I'm able to pay the house. All my problems are gone. I thank God for that. Amen. I greet everybody in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm from Toyando. Whenever I was watching this channel, I would be touched because I would be seeing people who are working with crutches, but they will throw them away because they've been healed. I came last week on Wednesday. When the apostle was saying that the people who are seated on that side with crutches come forward, even me, I was seated on that side. 
Musi ba chamba ba chira rondo se komanga rondo reale luya mandamzi mu anguama zuri ndo disa ni afa atungo chasbona hambo diba hone utanga ne zapo zoyanga nendo tuandi chapa ra tonga na zina ndiko chimbira zabudi ati cha chimbira ndi chiri ndi na tonga. It is only when I said hallelujah, the power of God touched me. I was very much amazed. I don't even know what happened. But when, when the power of God touched me, it is when I was receiving my healing. Ever since that day, I'm no longer using the stick to walk. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to thank God because of the prophecy that Mama and Daddy gave unto me. They said unto me that I must not apply for any job. I must just relax. My job is coming. So I never know the great miracle of my mother would move from government. Thank you. Now I have been blessed with the best job from the government. I thank God for that. Amen. 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 Alleluia. Amen.
glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Domandi Sibini. Domandi Chikani. This are the Mulena. This are the Vichiriti. Domandi Sibini. Domandi Chikani. This are the Mulena. This are the Vichiriti. Betsy Linguetuba. Natangana Nayeso. Leona Macharisi Leona Macharisi na Leona na Leona 
Hallelujah. Unyokono ya ayali make up naki di rekile ka ufelali cha uturali cha usiture wa fita mau cha kurumela inota mai ni evari ai cha mai rekile bucheng mabala la makaya tuwa eh ako non cha muhai ti nyana felam i anya mahala wa iwana loko iriso ho anya mahala ses ai hakeli anya mahala nse eh. Loko boy ithanda ka bokotsena so famba eh asilavi nanganga ni asilavi mali ni asilavi makaya ku watibeka asilavi makaya ku nwana mali silava we kloko wena iphumela ntsena haleluya iha nyama halaka yeso ina mahala Ihani 
Fair Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zita come lela. Kashona shiambano. Zikonzi kuma. Rianga. Come lela, come lela. Kashona shiambano. Zikonzi kuma.
remember, we don't have much time today. Can I greet you all in Jesus' name? Are you happy to be here? Uh, you know, this is the last day of our conference. We have learned a lot. Can, can, can you just shout? Out. Let me hear you Break shout. Out. And I said, we are going to do what we have done. The same night we came. And then, uh, you know, we have our pastors here. And you can stand up, pastors of Charis Missionary from different branches. Stand up, you can stand all of them. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, what we are going to do uh, is that thing we did on Friday. Night. To me, it's like to say thank you. We are here. We have been enjoyed together. So, Hallelujah. Amen. So you can sit down. Thank you. We have pastors who are here. Can you stand up? We have come to be with us. Baba can you stand up, pastors? Pastors, you can stand up. God bless you, pastors. Uh, Luke 12, Luke 12, 43 to 45. 43 to 45. After this, we are starting to pray with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to be prayed for? Luke 12 to Luke 12, verse what? 43 to 45. 45. Amen. Let's just say to 48, 43. If you can read there, I'll read only verse 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. I'm Amen. praying. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, can you read verse 45? It says, but 45. If that servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to bid the men servants, maid servants, and to eat and drink and be drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he expected not, and in an hour when he knoweth not, and shall cut him asunder and appoint his portion with the unfaithful. Amen. So you can see there that yeah, uh, today I want us to learn that we are called to serve God in the house of God. Say I'm a servant. Say I'm a servant. So now that's what we'll be talking about. Because if you can read here, Jesus was speaking. He said, Blessed is the man. That the one who appointed him, when he comes back, he will find him doing. In other words, there will be issues of being checked if you are doing. If you are still serving, we are called to serve until the Lord comes to check. But the Bible says, if he comes, and because he has been waiting and in his heart, because if you can read that, the Bible says, in his heart, not in his mouth, in his heart, he said, the Lord delays. In other words, he is still saving, but his saving is not out of his heart. So, he is saving outside of his heart. Therefore, it means he is just 
doing what he's doing but he's not doing because he knows that he has been appointed to do this and, and the bible says and he will be replaced so when i read this i found that god has called us to serve but many christians already they have been replaced when they are in the church that's my friend you can be replaced you know replacing or replacing is just a motion that God uses all the time. And you know he can replace you and he put someone and you heard about someone when you existing. I remember one time in the Bible, when God raised Saul who were chosen by people and he agreed but when Saul was carrying on sinning, and God began to say, let me replace him. And Saul was still existing, but you know, David was anointed from the bush. He was not even fit to be in the position. But he replaced the one that was fit. Usually you can be surprised that in the, in the, in the way of serving, appointed to serve, you find that many people that have been replaced, and, and you, you find that those who have been replaced, they were suitable for the position. And and God takes the and ones that are available and, and begin to use them there. You know, God loves availability because, because availability shows that you are, you are so committed and you want to do them. Availability, when you see something, you, want, you act. God wants people who can serve, not who can be searched. Searched to serve. Otherwise, they will do that out of of their mind. How say you lobata no dira ka mi gopolo ga e ka hore ba dia ka pedi. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says blessed it. in other words you know, blessings are coming when you are saving. When you are not stopping. Yes. Other, also, you can still see that there are challenges that when you are saving, you can still see a delay. You can still see a delay. But don't say there is a delay. Carry on saving. Because as you are busy saving, the Lord, the one who appointed you, will be coming with the blessing. And you want to see that you are doing, though there is delay. So those who are called to serve, they will face some delays, but the one who appointed them won't discourage them. I don't know if you are hearing that. Many of you are facing strange delays because of the expectations that you have established in your life. Still, God is aware because he is the one who appointed he want to come and find you doing and render you blessed. There is someone who is listening to me. God, 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 God is blessing that one. I said God is blessing that one. That's why I say, my friend, I want, I want to, to carry on serving until the one who appointed me come with my blessing. I won't, I, won't, I won't worry about my time. I won't worry about what is happening. I will carry on until I satisfy the one who's coming to church and is the one that will bless me. So we need Christians who are serving God with all their hearts. But one time I said there are different kinds of Christians in the church. Number one Christians are, are hypocrites. The hypocrites are there to deceive. Because they can see with their mouth, but they don't see with their hearts. They can give with their hand, but they're not giving with their lives. Number two, they are position seekers. They are there to rebel. So can you see that there are some people we are different kind of people in the church. Some people are in the church, not to serve. They are there for position. After they get the position, they have got their own aim. Because they are there to serve. 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 They 
was telling one of my pastors, I said, though you are telling me that you have got people who are committed, you need to check them very well. I said, you need to check them very well because their commitment there must be commitment forever until the Lord comes and bless them. Because there are some commitments that bring confusion and rob you from the commitment that you have made to God. Yes, I said I have got people who are committed and from there that commitment brings rebellion. Because some people will be watching and say this person is committed. Can this person will be like an example in the church. Later the person will let people ask for it. There are some people who are we have been astray because of the people who began in a right way were asked they are aiming some position in the house of God. Not the one who assigned them. Christians who are there to serve God, they don't mind about position. They don't mind about what is happening. They carry on with what God has assigned them for. And they know that the blessing is coming from the living God. It's not coming from men. We need Christians to a saint, we don't mind about what is happening, but we are carrying on serving, and we are enjoying our serving, and even if we can be appointed for position, position is not position, position is serving. When I'm busy doing what I'm doing, I'm in the position, somebody must not position me. So because if you can be positioned, and position control you, you will even live what you are doing one day. But when it is there to be saved, I'm carrying on saving, and even if I can be given position, I won't look at the position. I will look at the one who appointed me to do what I'm doing. That's all, my friend. They are position seekers. Who are you? We're now well akai. Ring. Ring. Number three. Sabran. They are blessing seekers. There are some people who come to church because they want to be prayed for their sin. When they are healed, they are going to live their life. Jesus healed ten lepers. And the Bible says, nine of them went away. He just cleaned them. When they see clean, one says, I've been clean. Let me go back and glorify the living God. Look at ten out of, I mean, nine out of ten Nine of them, they went away. It's what is happening to church today. That our pastors are blessing people, but our people are not staying in the church. Sometimes you question, I'm blessing you, and you don't care. It happened to Jesus. When Jesus blessed them, nine went away. One came to say, I glorify God in this place. I got a miracle in this place. And Jesus says, where are the nine? Where are you nine? not ten? Where are the nine? Only this one. And when Jesus looked, he found that the person who was glorified God doesn't even have a background of Christianity. And that particular person was a Samaritan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who think they know they were gone. We are filled with people who say they know because of their experience, they cannot bow down and serve the living God. Always they go around searching for the blessings. And the blessings are not coming to them. It's like something like God comes and go and they carry on searching. We need Christians that know that when they are blessed, they stay in the house of God. Whether they are not blessed, they stay in the house of God. But they have got something they are doing in the house of the living God. Because they are going to where is permanent when God bless a blessing who is really serving the blessing will come to stay that's what the Bible says the blessing of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow with it because it's there to stay your car is there to stay if you are serving God your house is there to stay if you are serving God your healing is there to stay if you are serving God your promotion is there to stay 
that to stay. If you are living, serving the living God. Even if there is nothing that shows that you are moving, you get a blessing and it disappears. It doesn't mean that you are not blessed. God is still assigned you that you are blessed. And that blessing will make you rich. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of. I'm not here for blessings. I'm not seeking a blessing. I'm seeking the one who blessed me. It's Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah 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 Rafa. He's around here. He's El Shaddai. El Shaddai. The creator of heaven and earth. I don't mind if I can just stay in the church and nothing is happening to me because I know I've been assigned by the living God and I'll carry on with the vision of the living God when I'm in charity, I don't mind. When I'm in the house of the well, living God, when people are living, I'll carry on. I'll get a chance because we need to know that in the church where you are in, you have been assigned to do something. Sometimes we cry for big churches. To me, I can still say there's a great opportunity to small churches of serving God. You can just go to that church and be part of the people that you carry on serving God. You carry on cleaning the church. You carry on giving the church. And you are giving matters because there is the beginning. When the flourish time comes, you are the one who is going to be excited. That's what I say. Say my friend, I'm excited about this. Say I'm excited about this. Saving is so important because it lives your life. It brings victory. It is a tool. And Establish focus. That's where your commitment will be. People who don't do anything in the church, they are just liars and gossipers. We need Christians who are saying, I'm doing something. I can rather go there and clean the church. I can rather be there and do something of my God. I will not be having money, but I'm called to serve. I can still in the church and do something. Hey, it brings promotion. You cannot do that and you remain the same. I was hearing somebody who was a pastor. He said, there was another lady. She wanted a child for many years. And this lady, when she was searching for a child, so he said, I don't know what to do after I pray for her several times. I began to say, please, there is something that is coming. Just come and ship in the church. When she was busy shipping, she, she was taking out fibroids. When, when she was shipping, she, she was removing fibroids. She, fibroid. she was taking out a cyst. There is something that you are assigned to do. It also brings a miracle in your life. Can I prophesy? When you are busy serving the living God, that miracle you are waiting for is waiting for you in the name of Jesus. Ares. Ares. There are poor people also in the church. I won't speak louder when I speak about poor people. Poor people in the church, they don't believe God can bless them. They want to eat from the church. If you bless them and you are a pastor and you tell them month and you bless them again, you have made a mistake. If you don't do it when they are sitting there, when you say hallelujah, they say, oh, man. They so they say hallelujah, amen. They say, oh man. oh man, the time is going. Oh, man. Others they will just come to see if what you have promised is there. They are so poor, they are hungry. They don't believe God can change their poverty. We need Christians who are saying, I might be fed in the church, but sometimes people can still fail to feed me. But he who is feeding me, though I'm fed in the church, is the living God. It's not the pastor.
they are the blessed they might be lacking nothing but they are blessed they are not poor they are empty but they might be empty but they don't have money but that doesn't mean that they are poor because they believe in the one who blesses even if they don't have money they don't mind because they know the one who blesses they just prophesy I remove that poverty and I speak abundance in your life in the name of Jesus are you poor? because some people are poor to extend that they are even running short of R they are poor they are servants they are those who are servants servants always Jesus when he spoke about them he yes, said you are no longer servants you are my brothers and sisters always they are promoted thank God there are some people here who are serving you are no longer servants you are getting promotion Jesus wants to speak with Jesus you as a brother and a sister Listen, when you are busy serving, sometimes you can find you don't have an idea of what to do. You start with what you are doing. But as time goes on, because now you are a friend of Jesus, you are no longer a servant. You become a friend. Jesus began to speak and say, Jeremiah, do you know that in the church, the pastor is hungry? Go and give him this hand. And he said, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're a friend. You do what Jesus wants you to do. And you do by the word of Jesus. When you are releasing, Jesus said, Congratulations. Go up now. Receive one million. Congratulations. Because your faithfulness in friendship establishes you to a higher position. If you believe, shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot wake up and become a big person. It's a mistake. Lose whatever you can lose. Sometimes you don't even know that the big people you admire, they are facing some challenges that you cannot even cope. If you want to know them, you won't even admire them. There are some people that God took them forward. If they can tell you the stories of their past, you won't like it. Even you, you are facing some stories so that you one day you will have a testimony but your stories must not change your saving carry on saving in your poverty carry on saving in your sickness carry on saving in your rejection carry on saving when people are against you there are some people when you are busy saving they can join you and to make you tired so when you are busy saving don't stop saving because of them. When they make you tired, separate yourself from them. Carry on with your assignment because God is watching. The reason why they want you to be tired is because of where you are going. Where you are going is closer. You are becoming a friend. No one can hear Jesus and remain the same. Now if you are a friend of Jesus, when Jesus says, hey, do this. You are no longer like yesterday. You are a different person altogether. I thank God that in Charis there are people who are serving the living God. And I'm prophesying you that you are going to another level. I say you are going to another level. Say I'm going to another level. If you read Luke 1 verse 8, Luke 1 8, you find that when, when the father of John was busy serving, the promise was given. The promise was given. Can you read that verse 8? Luke 1 verse 8. Luke 1 8. Yare Mosatsa Karea Asweri Mudiro. Wabo Presta Pelera Mudimo. Ili Lichachi Larawe. At Senamakong Wamudimo, 
a tuncha diorelo kamuha wabu prista. You can stop there. You can find that when he was busy serving, the angel appeared and gave you a promise. It's long you are waiting for this. You know that day when the angel appeared, it's not only what has been written there that the angel said. The angel, when he appeared, he said, John, you have been waiting for this. John began to say, ah. Because he knew that where he was entering Sydney, he was alone. And he was entering Sydney. He was alone. Do you know that in your saving, you must reach a level where you are alone? You find that you are not competing with anybody. You reach a level where you are alone. Because God has groomed you and make you a big person. You reach a place where you are alone in what you are doing. And other people have failed. So by this time, the, the angel came and said, John, I know you have been waiting for this. And that angel was speaking like this. John, he looked around. He questioned, oh, I'm alone here. I'm here. I'm supposed to enter alone. He said, I know you have been waiting for this. Job. He began to say, what? No, there's a promise that you are going to have a son. Just say, I know I've been waiting for a Nothing is happening. And I've tried this. I went to the doctors. Nothing has happened. Because listen to this. When you are busy serving, you are also busy with the promises. When God has promised you, He promised and fulfilled the promise for the time when you are serving. So when God wants you to start to live in the time of promise, is when, is when He has finished declaring that promise. So when God says, you have been waiting for this. And that man says, ah, the sun will come. You will name the sun God and you will break a record because the boy that will come, you will make, you give the name called John. He says, no, 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 I've never had anybody called John. I mean, this is a record that you are given. Remember, you don't have ability to do what you can do, but because you are saving, so you are given even a son and his son, you've got a new name that you've never had. And this is a record, you're breaking a record, John. So are you hearing me, John? And say, no, that cannot be. And the angel say, hey, because you didn't believe, you can't stop it. You were supposed to be stopping it if you're not saving. But you can't stop it because you are saving. What God will do, he wants you to continue saving, but he will close your mouth so that you won't talk about it. About it. And why is closing your mouth? Because you doubted God. If you speak it, the enemies will attack it. So I will close your mouth so that you don't talk. Listen to this when you are busy serving. You need to believe God on what He's saying so that God will open your mouth. And when you begin to say, This will come to pass, no one can stop it. And you can't stop it. And it shall come to pass in your life. I don't know if you are hearing that. There are some people here. God is assigning you for a miracle that nobody can stop it. You can't stop it because you are saving. I say, hey, because you are saving, your enemies have to stop the fulfillment of the promise of God that is coming. See why God sometimes will come and say, hey, you are saving. Uh, you are going to receive a car. You say, ah! But God says, because you doubted. Because if you talk, they will wish you. Believe it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Talk about it. Because faith is of talking so about it. So talk. Until they see it. When you are busy talking, they are laughing at you. Because already they have outdated you. 
Are you hearing that? There are some people who have dated you. Even when you come to church, they say, hey, when our papa, it's long we are here. What are you doing? They have outdated you. So you are coming with the right mind of doing what you are supposed to do. But when you want to do, they have outdated you. They say, you are not fit to do what you are doing. We don't need you. And we have been here for many years. But tell yourself to say, I will carry on I believe in the promises as a business servant. I'm fulfilling the promises of God in my life. And whatever I say is whatever I will say is what I will say. I promise you today, you charis people who are here, whatever you say when you are serving the living God, God will never leave you. God will never leave you. He's giving you your heart desire. He's giving you what you are here for. Your enemies will see it, but they can't stop it. I say they can't stop it. Why? Because you are serving the living God. The Lord is coming today. He's looking on what you are doing. And I'm here to tell you the Lord will assign you to do what you are doing. He will he will never leave you. He will never leave you empty-handed. He's supplying in your hands. You will touch your blessing. You will walk in the blessing. You will enjoy what you are doing because you are called to enjoy what you are doing. I'm here to tell you as you are listening wherever you are. I say, hey, there is no delay in your life. Whatever you are have lost, God is restoring it in the name of Jesus and even your enemies, they can't stop what is coming in your life and what is coming will be a new thing because you are breaking a record and in your family you will be the first in your family to have it the way you can have it if you believe Shout hallelujah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I see some people, they are becoming the first in the family to drive their cars. I see some people who are becoming the first to own a mansion. Why? By serving, by serving. I see four by four. By serving, I see healing. By serving, I see breakthrough. By serving, I see you. You're overtaking your enemy. You're overtaking your friends. You're overtaking your neighbors. You are living your neighbors to your neighbors. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I see you overtaking them on your left. You overtake them on your right. You overtake them and I see you accelerating to live your life in fullness and the promises of God are coming real in your life by serving by becoming stupid by serving in the house of the living God by becoming stupid useless in the house of God and you are just doing what other people cannot do and some people are opposing you they say hey you are educated what are you doing and the hey I know that one who has assigned me in the house of the living God are you doing what I know I know the one who placed me where I am. I will carry on. I will carry on. Can you tell us about it? I will carry on. 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 Hallelujah. I will carry on. I can rather be stupid. But I will carry on. I will carry on. I'll 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 carry on. I'
I'll carry on. 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 And I'll carry on. I can't hear you. I'll carry on. And I'll carry on. Seven. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. And I'll carry on. I'll carry on. Seven. I'll carry on. 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 I will see. Kivona. I will see something. I'm sure William can tell me. Kia dumela mutungu muruti William. Akush le kampuch. Where is he? Bagai. I can't even see you. Come. Akile bone. I will see someone. Kivona mutungu. Uh, the person you know, I don't know this And God said, because you are saving, this is changing Sandra. Sandra. I'm hearing that there is Sandra. Who's Sandra? Sandra is my first born daughter. Huh? She's my daughter. My it's your daughter? Born. Yes. Yes. And God says to me, Sandra, Sandra doesn't listen to you. And because he doesn't listen to and you, Sandra Tilich, now, Janong, by your saving, there's anointing that will break the plan of Satan hey, yeah. on Sandra. Yeah. Sandra, Sandra, I'm, I'm, Sandra, I don't know if you've got a daughter. Did, I you, tell me, did you tell me the name of your Because I don't know the daughter called Sandra. I do, I cannot say. But I know you've got daughters. Can you bring that daughter? Okay, Sandra. Here. Sandra, come. Sandra. Because I'm hearing by me as saving, is you are changing Sandra. Sandra. Yeah. 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 Sandra. Listen. I'm hearing that this girl disappointed you. All is true. Is it true? Very true. Eh? Very true. And this disappointment is tend to be a blessing because of it. Yeah. You know, you are saying, you know, when I'm looking now, I see power falling on it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Amen. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Go away from where this spirit must live. Come on. Can you see Sandra? Liawana Sandra. My God, Sandra. Watch Sandra. It's a spirit inside there. To disturb my pastor. I didn't know this girl is called Sandra. It's a spirit they put on her. So that people in the church will be discouraged. And you know what? I once say. Don't judge any pastor because of children. Because this is a challenge, challenge, challenge against the ministry. Not against the pastor. So from now on, you can the reason why this girl is attacked like this is because of the great ministry upon him. Yeah. 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 Look at Sandra. Yeah. Yeah. Sandra. Yeah. I never touch him. I come it's God one. delivering it. But because of your saving. Because of your obedience. I touch your stomach there. Sandra, fire there. Where you are sleeping. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Watch there. Watch, watch Sandra. Watch Sandra there. You are living here. You are living Sandra. <laughs> oh. Oh Jesus. You are living Sandra. Live Sandra. Live Sandra. Live Sandra. Live Sandra. Live Sandra. Live, Sandra. Live, Sandra. Live this girl. They don't want Sandra to marry. That's why they wanted to have children, children. That's why they there was a time that Sandra was drinking. So that you beat her. So mama, don't beat this girl. You hear what I'm trying to say? God has delivered her. She's very good. I'm 
I see one man. Ki wana tatu mwe. Yes. Come here, my brother. The one is. Etlang ken ovuti. Come. Yeah. Come here. Etlang ken. Yes. God loves you. Mwana mwale rata. You won't die here. You won't die here. Lega si kwe mo. Because always you are sick. Kau le dula le luala. Huh? And then you know. When you go to the doctors, they talk too many things. Because you are afraid of death. No? There's a problem here in your chest. Eh? It's true. Kinnet. So God loves you. You won't die. You are healed of HIV. You are healed of HIV. You are free. Amen. There is a... <laughs> There's one pastor there. This pastor here. This fat pastor. The fat pastor. Come. This is not your body, sir. Satan want to destroy you. This is the second time you are telling me. Huh? This is the second time you are telling me. Because I'm telling you. Because I'm seeing your heart here. Because I'm seeing your heart failing. I'm seeing your heart failing. God loves you. This is not right for him. God wants to use my brother. Not with a body like this. So, it's God who is helping him. Amen. You are free. You are free. You are free. Can you come here, my sister? Thank you, sis. Come. This is a coordinator. You must forgive your neighbor. Eh? Amen. Because whatever they are planning is not good. Amen. You hear me? Amen. I want God to bless you financially. Amen. Because the, what they are planning is not good. It's like there's a competition now. Yes. Eh? It's true. Is a very strong one. Yes, it's true. Huh? True. So don't, don't worry. Because I'm seeing, you know, people being stranded. Yes. Stranded. And Satan is like he's fighting. Satan is not going to win. Because you're bringing people here for delivery. David doesn't want that. Does he even want that? So, that time when you have a problem on the road. You remember the time you have a problem on the road? Yes. Eh? Yes. That day, that car was supposed to have run. But the car just decided to. Marino decided. So it was God for you. So it was not a mistake. I want to tell you that your enemies will fall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you will see what I'm saying. Yes. Don't fight anybody. Don't even fight anybody. Amen. I'm just here. I mean, some things on the air. You know, like, are talking too much, and it's not good for you. So carry on serving. Can you come here, sister? You, yes. God loves you. Come. You can touch here. You are free. You touch your stomach. Here. Yeah. Because you don't know what is happening with your stomach. So God is healing you. So Always you feel pains there. Huh? That's true. So In God has healed you. Come. So come say, where is your church? It's in Paul Petersburg. Huh? Paul Petersburg. Not Paul, in Paul Petersburg. Come here. We work together. God, God, God wants to anoint you. Because there are many people who are very sick there. Many are sick of HIV there. Where you are. So others, they, they won't come to church. There isn't why they don't come to church. They don't have hope with the church. You are free. Can, can you just look at me? I saw another one. Just rush. Yes. Come, my brother, run. Congratulations. This year, today is your day. Mm -hmm. You have been waiting for this. So, you can hear the sound is making. 
The sound is making because he has been attacked. The wife, where is the wife? Mama, okay. <laughs> They've attacked my brother. But attacked the booty. There's a demon on him that is troubling him. So that's why you people you are just doing ministry. That is all in our lady of hell ministry. Even himself, sometimes you feel tired. They lot. Sometimes it doesn't want to get in the church. Yeah? Sometimes it doesn't want to, to hold services. To hold yes. services. Stand up. service. Stand up. There's a demon on him that is leaving him. Come on, you demon, leave him. Leave my brother. Come on. Come on. Out. 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 Amen. He's free. He has received strength. You are free. Can I see this one? Not, yes, come. You have a demon too. Come on. <laughs> Can you come on? It's like a Look how she's working. Did I touch her? I call her come. If you put a mic in her mouth here, you'll be surprised. <laughs> You put a mic in you can be very much surprised. Because of the hidden demon. Put a mic there. Put a mic there. Put a mic there. So you are leaving this lady. So let go of mother. What are you doing now? If I tell you what I saw, they want to beat her with a stroke. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. This yeah, the left side, even the, the left, left leg. leg. The leg. Can you just check that leg there? Let me see the left side there. Leg. How do you feel down there in your leg? It's very painful. Huh? Leg. Very painful. So God is healing you. Now in Jesus' name. Be delivered. Amen. If you want to be healed of HIV here, can you run to me now? Come, come. Can I get the ones, this one, this lady, this lady, she have got faith. Eh? Amen. You are healed. Even if you are healed. Even if you are healed. Even if you are healed. All of you, you are healed. Eh? Come on, can, I for deal? can I get another one there? Come, run, brother. How are HIV positive? <laughs> hey, hey. You are free. Leave him Amen. down. He's free. I don't need to touch him. Brother, come, come. Where is he? Yes, come. God must change your situation and must bless you. Because Amen. people are witching you. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. There's a lady I saw. There's a, there's a lady there. Can you run to me, you? The lady there, the lady sitting behind there. Baba yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm sure she's a relative of that one in the church. The twin sister. Come. I will tell you something I saw. It's by the grace of God that you are still alive. Because people are accusing you. Those who are for your marriage, they accuse you. You know what I'm talking about? They don't want you. Yes. Eh? Yeah, it's true. You say, we don't want this lady. We don't want people who say, pray, pray, pray. Yes. Eh? Yes. 
because you are always praying. God, you try to repent. And sometimes when you try to focus, I talk too much. Yes, that is true. Huh? Because there was a time you nearly to have gone home. And I saw somebody who died. Yes, huh? yes that is true. So God loves you. Because when I look, I say, oh, why this person is standing very close to you like a husband? Huh? Yes. Is he your husband? Because he's so close like this. They want to kill people around you. So as long as you are here, as as we are silencing all the enemies. Amen. Amen. Shake it with me, come. Come on. There is a victory that is coming to you. You need to go and dance. Come. No more becoming weak in your body. So wherever you are, can you lift your hand? Say, God, touch my hand today. As I'm going to serve God, I'm receiving fire. Can you, can you stand up, all of you? Because it is your time. Say, it's my day of deliverance. Say it. Say, I want to deliver us now. Lift your hands up. Father, can you show me people that you give them testimony this week. This week. This week. Show me in the whole house. By touching them. Others are getting jobs. Promotions. Promotion. There are many. There are so many. By God. There are so many. I saw you are so many. God is delivering you. Some of you are receiving healing. Of disease that cannot be mentioned. Father, can you show me? There are many. Amen. There are so many. Touch them. Others are getting into the business. Others are leaders in the family. But they are blocked. As you are here, I speak a testimony. I speak a testimony. I speak a testimony. Listen to me. I have been told that but God says to me, this time, way forward. And he said, in charis, I will raise leaders. I will raise prophets. I will raise apostles. For my work, and you are blocked, and you are blocked. Today is your day of taking your position in an amazing way. Father, show me such people who are receiving testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are some people that you are opening Amen. their spiritual Amen. eyes and I'm very happy for Amen. you. Amen. Your, Amen. Your Amen. eyes are open. Amen. Your Amen. eyes are open. Amen. Your Amen. eyes are open. Amen. Your eyes are open. Wherever you are, you will never live a fainted life. You will never be failure. Because there's the glory of the living God that is coming upon you. The glory is descending in your life. 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 I see you overtaking your rivals in your work. You're overtaking them in your business. You're overtaking them where you are staying. You are leaving them behind. You are leaving them behind. It is your time. 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 Father, 
You said there are many. I want to see them. Amen. Others have been prayed for for several years. But this week is a week of a testimony. A week of a testimony. A week of a testimony. I say a week of a testimony. They will know you are here. And some of you, you are going home with anointing. That will break every yoke. There are some yokes that are broken because you are here. I see God raising you. I see God raising you. I see God raising you. I, God raising you. I say, hey, the yoke of Satan is broken. Of stagnation is broken. Of poverty is broken. Of limitation is broken. Of idol worship is broken. Show me. There are many. There are many. Any limitation in your family, you are kicking it out. I say, hey, your family will reach here, but you will pass that line. I see you passing that line. You are going to be the difference. Because you are a leader, you are a leader. I am a leader. I say I am a leader, I am a leader. I will never be a tail. I am a leader, I am a leader. I am moving forward. I am moving forward, I am a leader. People must copy me. I can't copy them. Can you lift up your hands? I see connection that God is establishing. Father, can you show me some people that you want to make them a testimony? Amen. Touch them wherever they are. Ashes be ready. There's a cloud of glory that is falling on top of us. The cloud of glory. I see somebody who's rejected. Becoming a celebrity. I see somebody who's rejected. Started to be searched by the people. I see somebody who's behind. God is raising that person in business, in your career, in your profession. I see God raising you. Father, I see some people that you are raising in their calling. I see people in their calling who are desiring to serve you and there is nothing that is happening but I see a light falling on top of them and I see the victory that has been declared upon their lives. Father, show me such people. Bring leaders, bring leaders, bring leaders. Bring those leaders. Let them be delivered. Let them be delivered. Let them be delivered. The fire is increasing. I said the fire is increasing. Look at somebody say fire. Look at somebody say fire. The fire is increasing. Say fire. Look at somebody say fire. Look at somebody say fire. Look at your neighbor and say fire. Say fire seven times. To your neighbor. Is it crazy? Is it crazy? The fire is increasing. The fire is increasing. The anointing is increasing. The anointing is increasing. Poverty is running away. Enemies are running away. Leg is running out. Amen. You will never be poor. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's increasing. It's increasing when you are here. It's increasing when you are on the altar. Yeah, okay, chair. Karakatakatika. Can you just lift up your hands? Lift up your hands. Say today. Today. I receive. I receive. By my hand. By my hand. The the fee of opening a door. Of opening the door. Can you open that door Bola of your profession? Today. Open that door of your business. Open that door. What are you opening? Say it. 
What are you opening? Open, 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 open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who? The door is open. Of finances, of finances, promotions, victory. I see you as a testimony. Say I'm a testimony. I say I am a testimony. Can you just lay, wave your hand, wave your document, wave whatever you brought here. Say I'm relieved, I'm relieved, I'm free. I've got victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you are waving your hand, I will see in your hand your testimony. There's a car you are receiving. There's a house you are receiving. Hey, you are receiving something. You are receiving something. Father, show me, show me such people. I see business. Oh, gee, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Can you say fire when you are waving? Say it seven times. Fire, 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 fire. Fire! Fire! Hey! Rejoice! Rejoice! Let me hear you jump me. Shouting! Rejoice! God has done it! Rejoice! That is why you heard me speaking a message to the lady here of coordinator. I say, forgive your neighbor. Why? Because what is coming? In whoever you forgive it, Amen. will look at you and say, how? I never thought you are like this. So even you, forgive whomever. Amen. Because God is rewarding you. I want to say congratulations in Amen. advance. Congratulations in advance. Amen. When you are busy dancing, when I you are rejoicing, dance like it has happened. I'll be bringing my pastors to deliver you there. Are you ready for your deliverance? Dance like it has happened. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Dance like it has happened. Don't go home without prayer. Because it has happened. We are many pastors. I want to pray for you. There are many demons here who are running away. They are living here. Amen. They are living the people of God. I'm trading my sorrow. That's like it has happened. I'm trading my shame. I am laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Don't 
Listen here. You can see these people who are down here. No one will live here unless it's delivered. Even you, when you are busy dancing, you are removing your sickness. Amen. You are removing poverty. Amen. You are removing pain. Amen. You are removing stagnation. Amen. Let me see how you dance. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah.
when pastors are coming here, you know why I'm rejoicing? Huh? Your testimony is important to me. Amen. Ah. Hey, did you ever see a pastor who dance like this? Home, I'll be dancing because I've what God showed me. Amen. And uh, I'll be following my wife. Do it like this. Address. <laughs> Move from that four room to a mansion. Go to a double story. Move to a triple story. I don't mind what is happening to you. You might be staying in a shack or you are staying in a flat. But listen, that is the beginning. You are moving up. You are moving up to a place. That even your friends, they will never remember where you come from. When you tell them, I was like this, I want to tell you, they will never believe you because of the glory. The Bible says, the suffering of the present time will never be compared with the glory. That shall be revealed in us. I'm prophesying the glory. I say the glory. The glory. I say receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap hands for yourself. Listen. Listen. Before we close, I want you to shout. I'm happy that we share together. Rejoice, shouting. Let me hear your noise. When the pastors here of Charis are coming. I can't hear your noise. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. 
Akili yukui. I can't hear you. Akili yukui. I can't hear you. Akili yukui. I can't hear you. In Jesus. Amen. I will tell you something so that in the future you won't be surprised. When God called a pastor, he also called his wife. So in the future when you see the pastor say pray, the wife must pray for you. You must receive very fast. Are you hearing me? I want to send these pastors who are here to you. And they will deliver you. I said they will deliver you. Amen. Can you, you people who are standing here, Korobi, Chabi, Makwete, can you just push forward? This one's the case. Yes, yeah, yes. You stay here. You do circle like this. Half circle like this. You go forward. You make a circle. That turns here. You do like this. You join them like this. Uh, hey. That's say Push this side. Yes, thank you. All right. These are your pastors. Uh -huh. Now face them. So, where you are facing, you are going to pray for those people there. Listen to my prayer before they pray for you. Father, you told me you are raising prophets. I'm praying this like when our Lord pray in front of Lazarus' tomb. And I'm saying, I know you have heard us. And I'm saying this because you hear us. Today, when you are raising these prophets, when you are raising these prophets, when you are raising these prophets. Father, anoint them. You can see anointing upon them. And this anointing must flow in this church. Let them prophesy to them. Kira Sita Rabayande. As you said, they are prophets. Open their spiritual eyes. Hey, I thank you for the work you are doing in front of our eyes. You said whomever they touch will have a testimony. As you are anointing them today, I anoint them one by one. Now, in front of us. Do it right now, Lord. Yes. 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 Korika tika 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 tika. Shita raba baba 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 shitike. Raka tika tika sute reba ya. Father, can you touch apostles? Can you touch prophets? Hila sita raka tika ti. O sata raba baba baba Father, kiraba sikete rebe te 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 te. E tita tika taka tiko suka ti. O rika papa 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 sika tika shika te. Father, anoint prophet Korombi to see and speak unto their lives. O rika tika tika tika. Shitaraba baba sikati. Anoint, anoint. Prophet Ducha to prophesy. Kira sika raka tika si. Ete te tika saba yataba. Anoint Prophet Joseph to prophesy. Prophet Chapi to prophesy. Anoint Apostle Mabukela to speak victory to the people. Anoint, anoint these prophets. Anoint Prophet Costa to prophesy. Erika Raba Baba Sika Tereya. Eretetetete Sika Papa Baba. Anoint this apostle, Malele, to change the lives of the people in Blue Fortin. Ayaka Raba Baba Baba Baba. Anoint this prophet, Jerry. Raise him up for Blue Fortin. Etira Kasiba. Ruketira Bayandaba. Father, as you have anointed, Father, all these servants of yours, today, when they reach on people, they will speak your mind in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see some pastors also who are among us. I see some pastors also in charis who are becoming leaders. Father, anoint them also. Anoint them also. You said people will prophesy and speak victory to the nations. Today, you give them a word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen, wait for your prophecy. Wait for what? For your prophecy and your deliverance. They are coming to you. If they've got a word with you, they will tell you. So, can you stand up? Rise up, all of you. Thank you. Clap hands for what God is doing on them. Yes. All these pastors who are here, God told me that our ministry will be changing and you'll be surprised. Your pastor will tell you everything about yourself. But you don't need to tell your pastor anything. Already it is started. It's already God told me that it's starting in Lesotho. We go to Queenstown. And from now, Bloom Fontaine, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. In Malawi, in Congo, wherever. So all of you will vendor. So thank you, Lord. In Pretoria, expect a big, a big anointing of miracles. Are you ready for a word? They'll be coming to you, all of you. If they don't tell you anything, they touch you, don't worry. That touch will be like a prophecy. You hear me? Because you know your problem. So they are coming to you now. But many of you, you'll be prophesied today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. They are coming. And uh, listen, when God gives you a word, hold the person's hand. And speak a word to that person. And then lay hands, the person will be delivered or will receive breakthrough. So thank you. Are you ready? Servants of God, you can go. <sighs> and if you want to prophesy, you are seeing something, take a mic. Hold it. If you are seeing something, take a mic and, and begin to speak. I shall, uh, you lift your hand, you take a mic, and they will give you a mic. Can you bring mic closer? The moment you lift your hand, the ashes will bring a mic on you, and you begin to, to prophesy. Your hand will stop. Worship. Father, let it happen now. Oh, 
I'm seeing that the doctor told you that sick with high blood. What you are feeling is not high blood. Do you know what I'm talking about? It is true, Pastor. It is true. They say you have blood. It's not high blood. It's a demon in you. It's the one that's causing high blood. How long will we have in this high blood? It's for three years now. For three years. I want to tell you that God wants to heal you today. You don't have a high blood. It's a demon. Come Thank you, Lord. Yes. Another one is working there. Crunches are... Can you, can you listen to your body now? How do you feel now? I feel very fresh. What do you were not able to do? I was not able to do like this. Now you can do it. I feel dizzy and like I will fall. It means you're free. That means for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the word. God. God is hearing us. Hey. Thank you, Pastor. Another one. Let's hear. Some of them they are gay. And because, Let's get a mic that can. And because it is your friends, because it is your friends, that spirit wanted to come to you. Sometimes you have some they're very strange feelings for men. God is telling me that you have to stop with these friends. You have to stop with this friend. Otherwise, that spirit will come upon you. And there is no way for you to come out. If we, if we stop early, if we stop early, God will deliver you and save you from that flame. Because that friends is influence in your life. They want to divert, divert your life. But now God is telling me that I must tell you that stop with this friends. If you stop going out, them, you you'll be free. Are you are you understand what I'm saying? Are you, are you know some friends that they are gay? 
That mic, that mic. You know, you know somebody is like a lesbian. Yes. Like a lesbian. Yeah. Yeah, this is the people that I'm talking about. But God say, I must tell you, stay away from them. Okay. God say, I must tell you, stay away from them. If you stay away from them, then you are free. If you not, this spirit of them will come upon you. This demon of them will come upon you and to destroy your future. So from now, spread yourself with those friends. Okay. It's a good advice. Very good advice. Can we hear another one again? Is that God is speaking with you? There's another one there. That... Hallelujah. Mama, as soon as I look at you, I saw a man wearing boxing meat. Do you hear what I'm saying? I saw a man wearing boxing gloves. And I saw this man beating you. You are always fighting with your husband. You are all, your husband is always beating you. This husband... It's a man you cannot negotiate with. And as I look at you, I had bearing. 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 Let, let's put Who the mic. That? Put the mic. It's bearing. It's bearing. 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 It's the same name. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for that revelation. Thank you, Lord. But God said, I must tell you right now as I'm praying for you, wherever he is, he will be touched by God. The spirit that entered him. Because I'm seeing a lot of things that happened into his life. That is their up hatred. It's a man who doesn't love anybody. Do you hear what I'm saying? All the things he's doing to you is because of what happened to him. He has been attacked from his family. I hate Bering. Because I'm seeing somebody in his family called Bering. No, Bering is the same name. It's his same, it's the same name. Thank God. Pray for you. So we thank God Get out. for Get out. that revelation. Get out. Get out of Jesus' name. Get out of Jesus name. Right. All right. Sister. Let's hear. In Jesus' name. Uh, I am seeing you not in business, trying business. Why I'm saying you are trying business? I'm saying because it's not moving well. That is why I'm saying you are trying business. People who are trying business are people who are not in there. So you want God to bless you, to have business. As we are here, the, the man of God was speaking about saving. So that connection, it will make you to prosper after you leave this conference. Do you, do you do business? Yes, I'm doing business, man of God. You're doing business? Yes, I've got four divisions of business, man of God. Yeah, but they're not moving very well. Yes, man of God. So far, they are not moving. That is where you are here. Yes, man Where of are you God. come from? Botswana. Botswana. Yes, man God, of God is lifting you in yes, Botswana in Jesus' name. I receive. Let me pray for you. I Thank you. Ah, ah, Take it now. Take it. What are you doing here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh? God says, I'm telling you now, listen. God, from today, she's a millionaire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You are a millionaire. That means for Jesus. Mama, as I'm standing before you, I'm seeing something like your eyes. Your eyes is giving you problem day and night. Sometimes you can't see proper. Sometimes you, you just fail to see. And this eyes problem, I see your family. Many people, they have this kind of problem. And if you don't take time, your eyes will be blind. 
But as I'm standing before you, I'm seeing God touching you. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Do you yes. have any problem in your eyes? Yes. Uh, Sometimes you can't see at all. Yes. So now God is touching you. You are going to free and free forever. There is. They are going by line. You will hear all of them. Because God is opening their eyes to, to speak unto the people's life. So we thank God for revelation. Revelation. Papa, now I'm seeing something. From your side here, sometimes it's dry. Yes. Yes. Sometimes even your hand is not working. Yes. Even your feet. Yes. Sometimes it's very, very hard for you to walk. Yes. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. But right now, I'm seeing God healing you. Yes. Because I'm seeing it's like you will walk with something like a charm. Yes. And that can enter you. From that day, you are not very comfortable, but the way you are feeling, it's like enemy want to give you a slok. Exactly. A slok. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I But do. right now, I'm seeing God healing you. You will be free and free forever. Yes. There's another one. You are turning one place. In Jesus' name we pray. Mama, I'm seeing you clamping on top of something. Why don't you want to go? Oh, I'll link with. I'll link with. Chili G. Give me a speed. Lemo Pedi. Okay. Legatile, go to more something. Mufasi. Until I got in, yeah, affect a motto, Alina. Now I'm going to go on. Now the problem is because I got to learn something. That thing, until I got to learn, come out to Alina. I can say it's like a trap. Mutu changes something, and then I got from there, I will come out to. Like I got to think, but I saw what I would do now, my no continual, not the police, not the police, and that's all for deal. Because this thing is caused by a darkness. It's caused by disease. Let's not talk about that. Mouth. Let's talk about mouth. Okay. Eh? What's your name? Your name. Your name. Two thousand four. What's your name? Two thousand four. Eh? Agigui. Two thousand four. Two thousand four. That is why we are going to check the legal doctor in the hospital. Mouth. Let's talk about for deal. Can I talk about the tree? Kintu lo wari doctor, eka shono ibo na kintu ya small ya, nangua. So lo shono mrena Jesu, unyoko furi chama utoale na kandi joal. I'm praying for you now, in Jesus' name. You can hear that. Wonderful. So you can see God is raising these people to be used by God mightily. With the people who want prayer. We, we are carrying on with the people who want prayer. Can we, can we hear another prophecy? Let's hear. Young man, I'm looking at you and I heard I need to pray for you. And I said, what am I praying for and whom am I praying for? I heard Nuku. Yes, I'm Nuku. Your name is Nuku. Yes. Nuku. Yes. Okay. Nuku, you are very sick. Yes. You have got a problem with your eyes. Yes. Okay? Yes. And you came here today so that God will heal you. Yes. And I'm telling you the truth. God is healing you right now. Yes. Come. I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Weapons for Jesus.
Keep watching Charis 